Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to show you my top five changes from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Number one is the new task menu, taskbar and start menu. So the new task taskbar, you notice it is central, no longer all the way down here on the left hand side, which we've had since Windows 95 days. And Microsoft say this is to simplify things, and there's a lot of simplifi simplification in Windows 11. It loses some features you can't drag and drop with it, and but there are some customized options that you can choose which of these um, features you want. So you can have a chat, I can turn widgets off, and we'll look at widgets in a moment, task switcher, all that kind of thing. You can choose to turn them on or off. Um, but I, I like it, it's simple, I like it in, in the middle there. To go with that you've got the new start menu which gets rid of live tiles and is again simplified. You've got your pinned apps on here so these are the ones that Microsoft have pinned and you can pin from your all apps list if you want to uh, pin an app you can just right click and pin and that one's already pinned. You see I've got recent um, uh, app files used with that application on there. And then down here you've got recommended, which Microsoft's algorithm shows uh, effectively recently accessed documents, which I find quite handy actually. I know not everyone's keen on, but uh, yes, you, you can you can do that, and you can customize this as well. You can show the recently added apps. You can choose which folders you get on there. I've got quite a few on there. Um, I would take pictures off and add the. Uh, videos folder or personal folder and you can see I've got those across the bottom so these are nice quick shortcuts to the files and you can search straight from there as well it takes you straight to the search screen so I like the new start menu um, yes it's probably not as flexible as the old Windows 10 one but I think most people and either use desktop shortcuts or the search um, and uh, I use search just using that as well like I said there is a separate search button as well which you can have and you notice some things like you get the recent uh, apps that you search for on there so that's my favorite new feature is the start menu and taskbar my second favorite new feature really is is the UI improvements the rounded corners and uh, some new menus let me show you what I mean so rounded corners you notice when I go into file explorer or um, if I say look for an option like taskbar set you see everywhere in Windows 11 there's rounded corners and it gives it that more modern look less sharp look which Windows 8 introduced and uh, Windows 10 had so everywhere has got that rounded corner look and I think that to me looks a lot better and then of course you've got new menus and the new menus have got these rounded um, corners and this mica translucent effect as well. Microsoft give you the most relevant menu items here and you can do more options and you get the the Windows 10 style menu on there which has the extra settings on there. But yeah, it looks better and I like the, the rounded corners on it. And my third favorite feature is Snap Assist. So Snap Assist allows you to split your screen uh, with different with different apps so you can choose these different layouts and so depending on the screen size you'll see um, different layouts so if you have an ultra wide screen you'll see the three column layout and so on so I could choose I want say um, three windows open so I can choose to have the Explorer there and I could have my uh, browser there and then have the third one I could pick one of these other applications so you've got the options of really Customizing that window layout is that uh, what's best for you. Fourth item on the list is settings. You see, I've been in settings a couple of times, and I really do like the new layout and the new look of this. Uh, it's much improved over Windows 10, sort of flat basic style. Uh, you, you've got all the things like your theme pickers in there. There's extra sound settings. There's extra settings for for network. It generally looks a cleaner uh, UI and uh, it's a, a nicer experience. So I think definitely settings is one of my top uh, changes for Windows 11. I said top.
The fifth and uh, really a new feature that I do like in Windows 11 is widgets. Now you can access them from the button down here. You, you can swipe in if you've got a touch screen from the left hand side. You can customize this so you can get the news feeds to exactly what you want to get in here. You've got regional settings and you can choose your outlets and you can choose what you're interested in. So I'm interested in Formula One. I start to see the Formula One news on there. Plus I can uh, customize these widgets and add extra panels in there. So I've got weather, you can add sports, I've got OneDrive, you can have your to-do list, you can add um, traffic in there. You can really customize this to whatever you want on there. So it's a nice experience and I do like that. Uh, uh, it gets rid of uh, user interest, which was in Windows 10, but I do like this uh, these the widgets on there. I said top five. Actually, there's a sixth thing I wanted to quickly show you, and that's uh, the new store. The store's been improved a lot. This will be coming to Windows 10 in the future, but with the new store, you've got much better layout, much better visibility of content. You notice how, and this is the case all over in Windows 11, things reflow better. And this is the case really all over in Windows 11. There's a, things look smoother and uh, move around much smoother as you resize windows and, and minimize and maximize things. But the new store is a lot better for finding content and um, getting your content updated. But one, the other notable thing is there is a lot of full desktop apps in there. So you can get the full version of VLC or Zoom or Visual Studio. It doesn't have to be um, a, a special Windows 11 app or Windows 10 app. You can just uh, get standard applications from here. It does depend on the developers to make sure they add them into the store, but there's, there's less restrictions on the store now. There's even things like Epic Games, you can get and browse the, uh, the store through there. Now, coming later will be things like Android apps to, to Windows 11, but that's not there now. So, those are my top features for all the top changes with Windows 11. Uh, I've got a lot more detailed videos on the changes uh, on the Just Lifestyle Common on our YouTube channel and on my Twitter at iStixon.